I got boogers, my hair is a mess. It's gonna be a good day. Heading down to Denver, and we're just gonna ride. My legs fucked up, so I can't do any tricks. I took all my pegs off, and we're just gonna ride, explore, have some fun. Hopefully, find some new spots. Probably looks super fucking retarded because it's like overcast, and I got sunglasses on. But I'm just bringing them just in case it gets bright. It's like a trials heaven and ledge heaven down there. This is the bottom of the station, but you can see in between. Like here, those are all ledges, and a lot of the main ones are skate stopped. I don't know if you can see, you can kind of see it, uh, but it, that's a cool spot. And then it has this little middle feature, you know, some trials guy could like hop up that shit. And but look at this uh, cool ledge spot, and there's like a it's a wedge ledge. There's only the front and the I'm good enough. Thank you. There's my bike up there. If I show you, show you my new sprocket. It's an odd well, to use sprocket, but it's an Odyssey million dollar sprocket. Stacks and stacks. The world's biggest little city. Okay, I'm just gonna be looking for spots. It's kind of cool just to hop on there and I don't know, 180 off or something. Well, it's weird and I'd probably never hit it because I'm not good enough. <laughs> but uh, this is a kind of cool area. I'm sure some, uh, as I usually say, some riders better than I figure out some pretty cool stuff to do here. This is on 16th Street Mall, so it's probably not really rideable because. This mall is like always open. You can see some people hit it right here. Probably some skaters. Tell people hit this. Just gap off that. Right in there. Looks like skaters. Don't see any tire marks. Those are pretty decent run up for uh, right hand grinders. Ollie Clarkson. You'd be in heaven over here. And there's so many lines probably. This is the federal building, and these are some cool spots. I feel like I can like sprock install in some of these. If only they were facing the other way. But uh, yeah, it might be something. There's the post office. Look at this awesome ledge. I would hit this right now if my leg wasn't fucked up and I had some pegs. I mean, it would be pretty rough. But look at that. It's amazing. It's about tire height. Something I really couldn't do anything on. But uh, that's a nice little rail for some stalls or something, or maybe for a skateboard or, or for a bike. You know, whatever. Strange arrangement here is like right behind this gate, there's like nothing. I'm guessing it's just like access to a, you know some duct work or something, but it's just kind of strange how there's a gate right in front of a wall and barbed wire. But it seems like people get back, <laughs> it seems like people get back there still. So I am really not finding any spots. Like I've been riding all around the city, and it's not a very big city. You can ride around the whole thing like less than a day, uh, up and down every street. And unless I'm just missing something, or I just, I don't know. Denver does not seem to be a good place to come, like the city I'm talking about, the actual heart of the city. I mean, everything that, that that's awesome is capped off. Uh, I had this guy come up to me at Smashburger, he's like, hey, you ride for Haro? And I was like, uh, no, this is a Sunday frame. He's like, oh, that's what they're calling it these days? And I'm like, no, Sunday's a different... And then, like, he just, like, walked away from me as I was talking to him. I was like... I'm literally showing you everything that I find, and it's not much. There's some really good spots, but not much to justify a trip to this city. Small little lead spot, some painted surfaces. Probably where graffiti was originally, but, uh... It's a little bit under tire height, not bad, a little bit taller at the end there it looks like. Uh, worth hitting, kind of a, kind of really public, so I don't know. Ticket almost blew away, that's my, <laughs> my ride back. This would probably be a dream rail, like it's freshly painted, I don't know, let me know, is this a dream spot? This looks scary as hell to me. But yeah, it's about... Oh, it's pretty long. 
Weird. This is what I mean by skate stop. Like, those are fucking huge, and those are everywhere all, all throughout the city. They also have like these big steel strips that kind of like jut out to a someone that doesn't ride. It looks like dividers, but they're clearly intended for people wanting to grind it. Look, someone cut this whole thing off. You can see where it used to be mounted right there. This is why it's not safe to lock your bike up on these pieces of shit. This is right across from 1777 something. Got this really rough ledge. It's not really worth grinding. But over there, you can kind of see that you could just hop over this stuff and maybe hit a, like, a little steel great wall ride. Um, wouldn't be too comfortable for me to do, but it's definitely possible. It's kind of cool. Okay, I see some stuff over there. We're gonna head there, but I wanna I wanna show you why good reason to run brakes. Hear that? That's like a bicycle horn, basically. People hear it from all around. Like you can be in a crowded area, everyone like just parts ways. Okay, check this out. Ledges and little gaps everywhere. Decent ledges. It's a 1255 Sakura Square. Looks like there might be some uh, might be some, like a temple of some sort. So maybe this isn't the best place to ride, but you know, depending on your viewpoints, this might be a cool place. Need some wax, but it's not horrible. This is what I'm talking about. This is a nice big flat land, but these are the stops I was talking about. So you can grind maybe like a bike length and you gotta hop off. But those are those are mean, thick steel right there. Really messy up if you tried and failed. Capped. It's kind of cool. There's nothing super awesome about it, but you can get some speed and boost of it and uh, land over there somewhere. These buildings are so creepy. Like on Sundays, there's like no one around. There's a guy in there. Right there, you can see him. He's just fucking standing there. There's nothing going on in there. No one's been in and out of this building all day. I've been by here like three or four times. <laughs> like, it's like, what, what is he doing in there? Wall ride thing. It's not like super flat, but it's... Got a bit of a slant to it. Doesn't look like it's too grippy though. Uh, actually, maybe it is. I don't know. It's pretty slick. That'd be pretty, pretty tough. One of those spots would be awesome. If it wasn't super skate stop. Oh, look at that. That's thick as hell. My hand. It gets even worse over here. Like this is definitely a big fuck you to anyone that wants to ride this. Look at this. You mess up, you get impaled. I mean, they're not like straight up points, but that'll still fuck you up. All the way down. Don't mind some dirt and some pipes. There's a nice fresh ledge for you. Some interesting stuff around here you could jib around on. But uh, some drops and stuff. Nothing too good here though. Some nice ledges here. Little stair set, that's pretty cool with a good run up. Looks like something over there, kind of. Real nice clean ledge, and it doesn't look like it's been hit at all. This would be about a little bit taller than tire height. I mean, you could do some drops off it, but I mean, it's 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 skate stopped as well. I don't know. For all the times I've heard, uh, Denver is like the coolest spot to ride street. Uh, heard from a lot of friends in different skate parks. Maybe they're talking about the skate park, but even that, like, is for skaters, you know? I think for a while, but this is kind of something, 1999 Broadway. It's just, this is granite, it looks like, um, and it's pretty high. It's definitely more than a tire height. Not something I can just hop on comfortably. I could probably get up there, but I couldn't like grind it for any distance. Um, and that being, it's, it's pretty rough anyway. Be something more like stall friendly to me, but this is kind of a cool spot. It's got some stuff over there too. Kind of cool. It's a rough cement, but there's a little bit of an angle, so you could, you know, hop on and do, do something fun off. Uh, nothing too exciting though. Got some pretty cool, huge uh, curbs there. Some over there too. I'm keep on looking. Nice huge bank. Looks like someone made a little cement quarter over there. It's kind of steep, and you can't really go all the way up because that fence right there. It's smooth enough to where you could actually. Um, use it for some basic tricks. I'll do a little fakie on it. Uh, I, I can't, 
I can't hop out of it because my leg right now. Just to show you, show you the transition. Let's keep on moving. We still got daylight. It might look like it's dark or whatever, but it's just overcast. It's only about three o'clock right now. Really nice day. I'm just gonna continue to explore and I'm gonna take you along with me. Okay, I can see this being a spot. Look at all the tire marks in this thing. It's waxed all the way to the end. The landing's not too bad. It's definitely for someone that's good at left-hand grinds, but uh, you can hit it from the right side too. It's nice and wide, and uh, yeah, it's been, been hit quite a bit there. That's a pretty cool spot. This spot is by 1888, right there. So, there's a really small bank here. Looks like someone ran that one over. You could probably uh, like grind up that and come back down if you're really good. It's a cool little manual pad. You could hop up it from pretty much any angle and do something off of it. It's kind of cool. Not really grindable, but you can definitely stall it. Let's take a look at what's in here. Big old tunnel entrance. It's probably down there. I'm sure there's like phones down here. Um, I don't see any money. Definitely would love to go down there though. Those things are like welded, welded shut. It's cool though. I'll uh, link in the description the little video that we went under the city. At the Capitol building right now, that looks like something out of Independence Day. It looks fake. Another one of those dream spots. Look how, how far that goes. For someone that's like all about like grinds or like peoples or something, this would be insane. You can tell people have hit it in the past, but uh, no longer able to. Those are deep. That's a good looking car right there. Maybe not as good as the 2004, but a nice little wide open spot and a little mini two step. You can hop on that bench if you want. Looks like skaters grind this thing. Bikes could stall on it or grind it. I don't know. Maybe someone's good enough to do that. There's a ledge over there we're going to check out. Looks like someone's already hit it quite a few times. And it gets shorter progressively over there. It's pretty wide and it's really smooth. Looks like it would slide real well. Be good for sprocket stalls too. Just some random, uh, that's a pretty nice little wall ride. I might be heading back to the train station now. I don't want it to rain. I, I felt some little drops coming here and there. It's kind of spritzing every once in a while. Um, but this frame's in pretty good condition and I got a lot of dings and scratches on it uh, straight through the clear coat. So it'll, it'll begin rusting if, uh, if I expose it to moisture. I'm not impressed. You know, this is the first time I've come to this, this city with the mindset of finding grinding locations and, and just new obstacles that I wasn't comfortable with clearing or jumping on, jumping over before. And uh, this is like fucking zombie ghost town in here. But yeah, so I just wanted to, to approach this with a, a new mindset and I am super unimpressed. Yeah, I mean, it's been a good day. Not super eventful, I apologize. But I just wanted to show you, you know, if you're doing like a road trip around America, Denver is not a place to go if, if you're not like a super fucking pro. Like, <laughs> that rhymes. Because I mean like, there's a lot of stuff you can hit, but not enough stuff like where you could just spend like a whole day at a spot because it's so fucking cool. I mean, there's a lot of little spots, but there's a lot of little spots everywhere. Uh, there's a lot of little spots probably by your house. So it's not really worth it to come into the city, you know, pay parking and all this kind of stuff. I came in on a train, as you know, but uh, some people come here and park because they don't want to deal with the train and having to wait for it. And they want to leave when they want to leave. But uh, as it stands right now, unless someone exposes me to some crazy cool spot that I just haven't found, this city is not good for BMX. Maybe it's good for skating. You know, I, I can't see through a skater's eye. So let me know, maybe, maybe you live here. Let me know if there's like some crazy, insane skate spots. And I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't see it though for, for riding BMX. So anyway, have a good day. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in a future video.
And speak of the devil, just in time, just got out of this awning, clearly raining. My bike's just barely safe. Look at that. Anyway, cool. Denver's not the place to go if you're not a super fucking pro.